Hello, Saka Fed. Hi, I'm Roma, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I will be making some cheesy roasted potatoes. If you want to see how I make this recipe, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Now let's get cooking. So, main ingredient, our petite yellow potatoes. We have some cheddar cheese, some paprika, onion, Italian seasoning, and bacon. So first step, I'm gonna turn this stove on. I have some water here in a pot and I'm going to add some salt to it, a little bit more. And what I'm doing is going to boil these potatoes before I roast them. In the meantime, I'm going to fry up some bacon. All right, Woo! we're going to cook that up, listen to that bacon. Oh, yes. Now I'm just gonna cook that until it's nice and crispy. So I'm multitasking. See my water is boiling now. Just gonna add the potatoes to that. Cover it up and let it cook. So while my bacon is cooking and my potatoes, I'm going to cut up some onions and this is a sweet onion. I'm going to fry that onion now in the bacon fat. After I remove the bacon, I'm putting this in there. Okay, now this is fine and you can see it's cooked now. So I'm going to take that off. Now I'm gonna put my onions in there. I'm gonna turn it down to low and add these onions in there. Just gonna let that caramelize. And that bacon fat is gonna add so much flavor. Mmm, that's gonna be so good. Okay, so these are cooking nicely. So I'm just gonna let it stay there and cook away for a few more minutes. I'm not gonna overcook them because they're gonna finish, they're gonna be cooking again in the oven, just until they're nice and soft. So I just picked some fresh parsley from my garden and I'm going to cut it up so I can garnish. That's it, it up. Okay, and that should be it. I don't want it too fine. So I'm just checking these potatoes and see. Okay, I think they cooked enough. So you just want to get them just tender. I think I'll leave it five more minutes. Okay, some of them are a little bit. I can take a little more cooking. So now, guys, you can see my onions are ready. They're nice and soft. Starting to get nice and brown. Now I'm going to break up these bacon into small pieces. So I'm just going to put it like this. The small pieces. That's our bacon. You can see, all broken up into pieces. Now I'm going to check my potatoes. These potatoes are done. And you can see they're all done, so I'm going to just drain them out. And next step, I'm going to get a little masher. And what you want to do is just press them. You don't mash them, you just press, press them. So you just press on them. So 
So this is my casserole pan I'm going to use and I'm just going to spray it with a little cooking spray. Just so they don't stick. I'm going to put it in here. Put everything in there. Okay. Okay, that's it. Next, and you can see our potatoes. Look at that, they look good, huh? We're gonna put some paprika all over that. Oh, nice paprika all over. Just to cover it. Then, a little bit of Italian seasoning. Sprinkle it like that. And then we're gonna put our onions. So we're just gonna take these onions and just spread it all over on top. So you wanna make sure you get it all over because when you bite into the potato, you wanna get some of everything. And that bacon grease is gonna just add flavor to it. You will just, okay, look, that's it. Look at that. So your onions on top of that. Next step, I'm gonna sprinkle some bacon over that. So we just put the bacon, same thing, like your onions. You wanna get a little bite. And then we're gonna top it with our cheddar. So we just put some right over top. This is such a nice dish and it's a beautiful side. You can have it with just about anything except fish, like any kind of meat dish. Or you can just have it like that all by itself. My oven's been on, it's on 375 and I'm gonna put it on the top rack. About 15 to 20 minutes, I would say. Hey everyone, it's Jose here, just interrupting this program to bring you a special food moment. All right guys, so I just picked up this delicious Dole Whip mochi donut, pineapple flavor, and I also have a nice iced Vietnamese coffee with condensed milk. I'm so excited to try this right now. We're gonna try the iced coffee. Oh my goodness. That's absolutely delicious. You guys have got to give this a try if you were in Toronto. That condensed milk is so nice and sweet and creamy. It just gives the coffee a delicious flavor. And now we're actually gonna try this. Look at that. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna give it a bite. Mmm. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is absolutely delicious. You really do taste the pineapple flavor in that frosting. If you are ever in Toronto, check out Isabella's delicious mochi donuts and Vietnamese iced coffee. Now, back to the kitchen. Oh, that looks nice. See, it's ready now. That's what it looks like. Now I'm taking it out. We're gonna turn it off. And now I'm gonna put my garnish over it. We're just gonna cover it and let it sit for about five minutes. Okay, I'm gonna dig into it and we have some sour cream with it. Ready to go. Mm-hmm. That's good. The onions with the bacon and the sour cream. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is so good. Oh, this is a big piece here, but I'm gonna get it all in. Mm. That is delicious. Guys, I can't stop eating this, but if you do try it, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this recipe because I think it's really good. And here you have it guys, our cheesy roasted potatoes. Thank you for watching and until we see you again next time, have a great day and God bless.